Here we have a common musk turtle. Its scientific name is Stenotherus odoranus. This species is widespread and abundant throughout the coast of the eastern United States. It goes from the northeastern states all the way down to Florida. This specific musk turtle is very interesting as it occurs further north than any other musk turtle. Its habitat includes permanent bodies of water, like shallow streams, ponds, rivers, or clear water lakes. It is very rare to find this turtle anywhere else. They are highly aquatic, and as you can see, when they're out of the water, they're very timid and very shy turtles. This turtle is relatively small. It's one of the smallest turtles you can find in North America. Its average length is about three to five inches. The carapace is brown or black with a smooth oval shape. It has lines that run from the snout to its neck on either side of the eye and are usually a prominent yellow color. For both the male and female, there are barbells located on their chins and on the and they're actually interesting as they're one of the only species of musk turtles that has these barbells. The female common musk turtle is known to dig shallow nests at the water's edge under rotting logs or dead leaves. They can nest more than once in a season and sometimes even have communal nesting. This turtle can lay one to nine eggs sometime between February and June and they hatch about 60 to 84 days later. This species is a food generalist, eating plant matter, mollusks, small fish, insects, and even carrion. They forage on the muddy bottoms of streams or ponds, and that's how they collect their food. When disturbed, this little turtle gets its name from the ability to secrete a very foul-smelling liquid from the back of its shell in its musk glands. This behavior has earned its nickname the stink pot turtle, and it also has another unique behavior is that when it forages, it actually walks on the bottom of streams or ponds instead of swimming like other turtles. And this is a common musk turtle.